Hello and welcome to Journey the Russian All How Good Are You. My name is Andreas Sachin and this is Steve Dangle. And how did this happen last night? I got confused. This is an OHL Kitchener Rangers shirt and you got all cheeky in New York. I get it. How's it even possible that CHL teams get to use the same names, the same uniforms as the guys in the NHL? I'm sorry I hurt your feelings, David Branch. So we're gonna start this episode with a question. When did the Rangers sign Jordan Eberle? His name's Brad Richard, silly. Oh, that's right, because Eberle was fighting drunken fiends in the nightclub. Eberle wasn't with Gets Laughing Perry. I don't even think he's old enough to drink. He's under 13? He might be. Boy, did he force his age. Yeah, but it's like the opposite of what Russians are accused of. Like, oh, this player's 25. Like, oh, no, look at this player, Jordan Eberle, he's wearing a bib. It kind of makes sense where it's so good. He's going to play in the minors in, like, what, two years now? Hey, so focus, NHL. Sorry. Not sorry. At the time we were making this video, the New York Rangers are now up 3-2 in their series over the Washington Capitals, and it looks like Team Russia might be getting Ovi and Semin. I really hope that Crosby is versus Vashkin thing is going to apply to the World Championship. Crosby didn't go, Avishkin shouldn't. So if they're gonna be at home, but still competing, they should like face off in video games or something. Here's how that happened. The Caps had the lead with about a minute left, and then Joel Ward, their Game 7 overtime hero, took a double minor for high sticking. Rangers score with about 6 seconds left, the game goes to overtime, Ward's still in the box because it's a double minor, and the Rangers win in overtime, oh dear. And all of this happened when the Rangers played at home, right? Yes. How conveniently, eh? CONSPIRACY?! I guess someone wanted them to win, eh, Henrik? It's such an obvious play, goal interference and a kick, and they still call it a goal. It scares me that, that someone can call that. It's, it's just unbelievable. It still upsets me, because we, uh, we have this game, and then they get a chance. Someone, uh, someone wants them, you know, back in the game, obviously, because there's no other explanation, I think. It appears as though the shoe is on the other foot, yeah? What's with the German accent and what does it mean? It, it really doesn't mean... And it, the tables have turned... Shut up! Okay, let us proceed to the other news. That was horrible. I know. Machlos. So, I would talk about Philadelphia playing New Jersey in Game 5, but that game's tonight, and it's going to be over by the time you see this video, so let's move on to L.A. and Phoenix. Oh, Come on! Nobody in Russia gives a damn about this series! Let me... Did it's I like, press the zoom button? Yeah, you did. I think I did. Nobody in Russia gives a damn about this series. Let me say why you should. It's played like on the no, other planet. it doesn't matter what, on a different continent? This is Eurasia! It's Europe and Asia. I'm not getting into this again. Why is there a pirate ship on your map? It's the Japanese. That doesn't make any sense. I know. We'll talk about hockey at some point, I swear. Okay, I know it might be difficult for Russians and frankly even North Americans to give a damn about the LA versus Phoenix series, but I think it's going to be awesome. Are they going to play in flip-flops? Well, yes, but they still have blades. I know the NHL is trying to attract more fans and fans want goals. They want excitement. <laughs> You can't appreciate a good goaltender's duel, you don't appreciate the game. The highlight of the World Juniors for me, because I can't talk about a Canadian comeback because it fell kind of short, uh, anyway, was watching Makarov almost, almost beat the Swedes. And I'm not saying that to rub it in, I actually really admired that. Because to me, each save he made, even if it wasn't pretty, was as exciting as a goal. And we might get that out of both Jonathan Quick and Mike Smith. So are you excited now? Not one bit. Nah. I can't be excited of the fans of the arenas they're gonna play at. Don't even know the rules! Yay! What's you cheering about? I don't know! Yay! You're a dick. So now in back-to-back -back videos, you've successfully pissed off avant-garde Omsk fans and Phoenix Coyotes fans. At least in Omsk, they know what hockey is. Oh my god. They just don't think it's fair. If you'd like to know more about the likable member of joining the rush, please visit stevedangle.com. You're not likable. I read a Twitter all the time. It's true. And on this note, let us move on to the World Championship, eh, Steve? Sure, yeah. So you told me you would pay attention to this tournament. What's up? I, I've been paying attention. Canada lost to the States. I do know that get the face off. We really didn't need that troll face graphic. You just kind of look like it. I know Canada beat France. Oh, c'est pas vrai, ça! Ooh. Uh -huh. And by beating France, what you really mean is beating a bunch of kids from GTA? Yes. The great thing about Andre is he's a dick in like three languages. So you guys gonna make the playoffs? Yes. Wait, are we talking about the Leafs? No. Yes. Do you even know who plays on the first line for Team Canada? Yeah, of Canadians, course. right? Yes. I got a question to ask. It's sort of about the World Championship, but it's about the NHL as well. Okay. How much would you be willing to pay to see Russia play Norway? Russia play Norway? Uh, 
Not a lot. About $215, right? No, who the hell would pay that? Well, the Swedes thought the game would be sold out! Seriously, how much do you have to pay to get in and see the Maple Leaf play? Uh, about the amount you said. Hmm. But it gotta be like a politician or a Mr. Moneybag to get the tickets, right? No. You yeah. can be a friend of them also. Oh. Well, on day two, the Swedes finally realized that it was too much to pay this amount of money for the tickets. And they're like, okay, let's put the prices back to 50 bucks. Leaving all the fans who haven't seen a game yet going, yay! And all the people who saw the first game going, no! Don't get us wrong, I mean, Pavel Datsuk has a very similar question. So, how did it feel uh, for yourself? First? Uh... Not, not, not bad kind of, but it's, I need a little bit of time, it's a big arena, a little bit warm here, no fan. Why it's too expensive tickets? I have no idea, but they, they have, they have, uh, uh, yeah, I know, but they have uh, taken the prices down now, so it's cheaper now. You sure? I'm sure. They taping. Yeah. I ask you if it's not cheaper, I ask you next time. Yeah, sure. One other curious thing that I noticed about this year's Team Russia, Malkin is awesome. You don't say! I know! As a matter of fact, Yevgeny is going to be featured on the Join the Rush Goal of the Week in this episode. Kolin spelar for Malkin, som holder i pucken. Malkin! Oi, 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 oi! Oi! Well, and I think the NHL Goal of the Week belongs to Alexei Ponikarovsky, courtesy of Ilya Kovalchuk's effort. Look at this marathon. Throws it out for Kovalchuk, just off the bench. Kovalchuk, tough angle shot off the side of the net. Kovalchuk has it again. He has two points tonight, and it's deflected out of the zone by Briere. Lead pass for Ponikarovsky. Ponikarovsky shoots, saved by Briskoff, and then he scores! He's good at soccer too. Creativity. He doesn't want to do a hand pass there, so he tries to use his head. This is just in. After Ilya Kovalchuk wins the Stanley Cup, he might be playing for Team Russia in soccer at the Euros. I didn't even know you're into soccer. Well, sorta. Who's Team Russia's coach? Some Dutch guy. I don't know. Sound like a huge fan. No, seriously. Who's the coach and why? Fine. Who's Canada's coach at the Euros? Ah, oh, different continent, sorry. And last but not least, the save of the week from the LA Kings, who I told you to watch. Jonathan Quick, who I told you to watch, with a little help from teammate and LA superstar, Andre Kopitar. And the man coming late to the zone, Russell, a shot, blocked, rebound, kid! Oh, and Quick gets the bar, gets to the goal line! Able to keep it out! And we would like to wrap up this episode on a cheerful note, and this is why we're going to show you something you probably have never seen before. At the junior tournament of Golden Puck in Russia, this team obviously has won. These kids are only 14 years old mostly, and this is how they celebrated the win. We didn't even bother to look up the name or anything, just enjoy. <laughs> Well, that was weird. Thank you for watching this episode of Joining the Rush on AllHockey.ru. Once again, my name is Steve Dangle. This is Andrea Sadchenka. I said it right. Yeah. And just remember, guys, hockey's supposed to be fun. Yeah! Go, Russia! Not what I meant. Also, don't forget to buy the latest edition of the no, Hockey News. No, 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 we already did yeah, the that's episode. That's the only group that's what's on the Hockey News, because the episode's already done. Buy it! You know there are guys who just comment every video Andre sucks? Yeah. Whoops. <laughs> I thought it was breaking news to him. <laughs> what, what do you have to say to him? <laughs> it's a... It's a cat sausage. I'm <laughs> too sexy for your cat. <laughs> I was going to say some direct to pink in the bin. <laughs> I heard he's good. The leaf should sign him. Sure. He's a goalie. Yeah, right? <laughs> Face and bloopers do. <laughs> you make me so happy, Steve. <laughs> I don't get to use this joke more too, too often when I'm just hanging out with my girlfriend. <laughs> Has anyone got a running clock on how long he's gonna laugh at his own joke? About five minutes. About five minutes? I can go all day long, dude. <laughs>